Hello everyone, my name is Varun Vadwani and here I am going to discuss with you the concepts of locality of reference with respect to cache. First of all, what is locality of reference? Locality of reference refers to a phenomenon in which a computer program tends to access same set of memory locations for a particular time period. This property of locality of reference is mainly shown by loops and subroutine calls in a program. In case of loops in program, CPU repeatedly refers to a set of instructions that constitute the loop. In case of subroutine calls, every time set of instructions are fetched from memory. References to data items also get localized that means same data item is referenced again and again. Now as we can see in the figure that cache is placed between the CPU and main memory and near to CPU. As it is near to the CPU, CPU can access it fastly as compared to main memory. Here we must know that accessing main memory is the slowest job in a computer system. As time to access main memory is more, speed of the processor becomes slow. Hence to efficiently utilize the processor, cache is used because it is faster to access. Now as we can see in the figure, when CPU wants to read or fetch the data or instruction, it will first access the cache as it is near to it and provides fast access. If the required data or instruction is found, it will be fetched. This situation is known as cache hit. But if the required data or instruction is not found in the cache, that situation is known as cache miss. Now the main memory will be searched for the required data or instruction and if found will go through one of the two ways. First way is that the CPU should fetch the required data or instruction and use it and that's it. But what when the same data or instruction is required again? CPU again has to access same main memory location for it and main memory as we know is slowest to access. So the second way is to store that data or instruction in the cache memory so that if it is needed soon again in near future, it could be fetched in a much faster way. Here cache follows the principle of locality of reference. There are two ways with which data or instruction is fetched from main memory and stored in cache memory. First way is known as temporal locality which means current data or instruction which is being fetched may be needed soon. In the figure we can see uh, there is a main memory and a cache memory. When CPU accesses current main memory location for reading required data or instruction it also gets stored in cache memory which is based on the fact that the same data or instruction may be needed in near future. This is known as temporal locality. Second way is spatial locality which means instructions or data near to the current main memory location may be needed soon. In the figure data or instruction on current memory location along with data or instruction nearby will get stored in cache which is based on the fact that data or instruction near to currently accessed main memory location may be needed soon. This is known as spatial locality. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give your views in the comments section below. Please subscribe the channel to stay connected.